often get the feeling that our, our mindset is really not yet thinking digitally. It, it's not thinking in the digital paradigm. We are still basically in the last millennia or last century where, where things were pretty much the same. You know, the industrial giants gave us employment. Banks were the owners of everything. And we were fighting wars over natural resources, basically. But last time I checked, uh, the, the dominating companies of this world of the most valuable companies of the history of humankind all auto-classified themselves as artificial intelligence companies. Now, you might say, okay, you know what? That is just, that's basically just because of the pandemic and during the pandemic, we had to do more online stuff and then, you know, they filled their pockets. But if I look back, that's not like that has been around before the pandemic. And, and, and not a lot has changed. And this is now going on for quite some time. Well, two of them seem to ch switch places regularly, depending on which CEO messes up in the last Congress hearing, it seems. <laughs> but besides that, not a lot has changed. So we really need to now move forward and accept that this world is dominated by the digital paradigm. You know, more than 70%, some 80, 90% in some markets of our resource distribution on the stock market is handled by artificial intelligence. 99 point something percent of our energy distribution decisions on the electric grid is done by artificial intelligence. This information processor just couldn't, you know, you cannot store energy really. Like that goes way too fast for us to flip the switch manually. And in the United States, uh, some statistics say that over 50% of marriages, which later then go on and have children start because an intelligent recommender algorithm said, hey, you two actually should meet, you, you, you are a great match. Now, if you would tell me that, listen, we found an extraterrestrial species and 80% of the resource distribution, 99% of the energy distribution and 50% of the procreation decisions is made by this system, call it AI, then I would say like, hey, wait, no, this like this system is part of that species, you know, that, you know, the, the chip in the brain might come, but but we don't really need it on, on the level of society. We already merged with artificial intelligence, with advanced digital technology beyond any point of return. Sure. You could go in the mountains and you could, or you could go in the desert and you can get rid of your phone and never ever interact with any money because in the back office, it's all digital and you will, if you're good, you will survive for, for, for several years and, and you're still human. But under no circumstance can you argue that you're co-evolving with the rest of our society, our society is an emergent phenomena evolving together with artificial intelligence already. Now, in this exploration of the digital paradigm, we take well, an academic approach, a structured approach uh, from innovation theory, because it doesn't really, it, it doesn't matter which technology it is, but we can learn from previous technological revolutions. And by understanding the nature of technological revolutions, it can help us to guide, navigate the currently dominating technological paradigm, which is digital technology. The digital paradigm created us so fast and created such riches that it's, it's actually, it's mind boggling to think about it. So if we take uh, the top 10 digital individuals, which are mainly white men, maybe with one or two uh, exceptions, uh, and take their net worth. Um, uh, most recently, let's say like, it's, uh, say uh, together they have like a trillion dollars. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good party. And compare it with the world economies, sovereign nations. It turns out um, that only 17 countries out of almost 217, 216 economies in the world are larger than if these 10 men would gather in a room and put their money together, like what they have on their bank account. Like these men, it's like what they have on their bank account. And this here is the entire economy, like everything that flows through the economy. It's the GDP. And there are only 17 out of the 216 economies in the world that have a larger economy that want these, what these guys have on their bank account. I can also look at it the other way that the bottom half of the world's sovereign nations, supposedly sovereign nations, together 
have a GDP economic power that's less than what these 10 digital entrepreneurs uh, created and, and put away on their bank account. So it, it is a paradigm that created unprecedented riches and an unprecedented power. It's not only the economic power, they also have the power over the information networks, which news titles are shown in which kind of order. And that can then decide, like we will talk much more about it, uh, I will get uh, ahead of myself.